This garden was meant for Aurora McCarthy's mother, but she didn't live long enough to see it. I could hear her coughing all night long, and all I could say is, that could be me next. That could be me next. McCarthy's mother, Doreen Strawn, died from mesothelioma, a rare cancer caused by exposure to asbestos, likely from washing the clothes her husband wore to his job, where he made pipes lined with asbestos. When my daddy, and I did call him my daddy back then, come home from work, I'd throw my arms around his legs and his coveralls were white. You know, he'd come home white with asbestos dust. McCarthy's father, Wolfgang Paleski, had asbestosis, or lung inflammation, and then died from lung cancer. As a child, McCarthy used to help wash his clothes. She's recently been diagnosed with pleural plaques, a benign condition which is nonetheless often a precursor to mesothelioma. Asbestos leads to a chronic inflammatory reaction within the lungs and within the cells which line the lungs and which line the abdomen. When you breathe in, those tiny particles of asbestos travel through your lung passages and lodge themselves, leading to scarring that can't be reversed and often leads to cancerous tumors. It takes between 10 to 40 years to develop significant symptoms. We all have asbestos exposure as it is found naturally in the environment, but those most at risk are those who work with the mineral on a regular basis in factories or in mines, like the Thetford and Jeffrey mines in Quebec. There are still hundreds of deaths every year in Canada secondary to asbestos-related disease, mostly secondary to cancers. Asbestos use is limited in this country, but the mineral is still mined and exported, with Canada being the world's second largest exporter. When I go to bed at night, the last thing I think of and I say is, dear God, let me live tomorrow. Asbestos remains the number one occupational health hazard in Canada. There is no real known minimum exposure that's considered safe. The more exposure you have, the more likely you are to develop disease, but even those with very short exposure to a high concentration of fibers can develop disease later on in life, and it takes years to develop it as well. It's a big concern it's coming being, out of Elliott Lake. Exactly. It's being called a public health catastrophe. Okay. B, thank you. You're welcome.